Good evening everybody. It's Thursday night, quarter to ten. I said I would come out and film this for you, as promised, but it switched off. I don't know what's happened. It looks like it's snowing here. It's that someone's put something in the fountain from the top and it has caused this. I said, are you sure? He said, I think so. He said he's seen it happen before. That's a really sick joke if that has happened after nine years millions of pounds spent on this looks beautiful and uh, it's all switched off still looks beautiful at night but maybe someone can enlighten me maybe he's talking rubbish but he thinks that someone has played uh, practical joke he has seen this before and they've put something in a fountain at the top and it's flowed down if it is true it's going to have to be cleared away doesn't it look beautiful there looks like a palace doesn't it the at night I've actually never seen this before So another day. Sorry guys, it's out of my control. You can see it starts from the top and it has flowed down. Maybe it's just something else has caused it. But it's not working at the moment. It will be back on soon. Doesn't that look wonderful though? It's so different at night. There's hardly any breeze. I would say it's probably 62 degrees Fahrenheit. The glorious town hall. So I thought, well, I'm out. I've made the effort. I nearly did not, but I thought I promised everyone. But we will have to come back another time. A lot of people coming this way. I assume they've come from the Symphony Hall or maybe the Repertory Theatre. It's easier to say rep. <laughs> I have difficulty pronouncing the word. So we can show you paradise at night. The clock. I was here for New Year's Eve two years ago. The fountain at the paradise is getting. Uh, a little bit less and less. Looks like it's due to stop working again soon. Totally different perspective at night. So we'll just make a short video. So this is the side of the 
town hall, isn't that incredible? Still some building to go on over there. It's going to be a hotel when they knock the other one down. I love the lights on the staircase here. Aren't they beautiful? Headlights on here as well, they do. City Billy, look here. Yeah. Wonderful Indian restaurant over there. If you come to Birmingham, wonderful Indian restaurant. So I was just talking to them, and they think somebody's done something to the fountain, thrown something in there to create the foam, and it's gone off. How sad that is when it's not been on for 24 hours. Restaurant here, Albert Schloss. Very popular, been open since January. I might start, um, I'm not sure it's gonna be copyright music, but look, it's full up. There's, there must be, um, thousand people in there. Look at this. People going in. A few outside. It's now 10 o'clock. So we'll come back and film the fountain for you at night another time. show you the fountain in front of the symphony hall it's sort of known as the dancing fountain or the dry fountain which is wonderful I was just watching a video on YouTube from America and this guy got a delivery of a scooter, would you believe? 75 kilometers an hour. <laughs> 50 miles an hour. But he said it was very scary. It's on YouTube, I can't remember his name. He got three and a half million views in three months. Amazing. So here we are. It's just something about the lights and everything at night. It's so attractive. I much prefer it, although I don't go out at night, I must be honest with you. I think the dancing fountain, oh no, it's gone off. It goes off at 10 then, oh no. I'm not too sure but I'm always a little bit weary just concerned going out I'm not paranoid but I I, mean, I I get home I'm out all day I walk for miles 
I have my meal at six. That's what happens when you get old. There's the Hyatt Regency there. And then, as I said the other day here, this building at the top, the local news from six to seven, channel seven, if you have a look, all about Birmingham and what's going on, the new university. The rep theater. Yes, so I have my meal and I don't want to go out and I fall asleep. <laughs> but I came along here earlier on just half an hour ago and it it was on so oh no it's coming on now you see it's not a total disappointment this evening here we are I have filmed this before but it is beautiful Backdrop the Symphony Hall. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> so not very long to go now, guys. It's 69 days, just under 10 weeks for the Commonwealth Games. I remember looking at this. I think it said about 300 when we had COVID and everything. So now we have 69 days. Let us hope they don't switch that off the next bank holiday. As I mentioned in my last two videos about this area, they switched it off. If you have a look at one of my videos, the Motion House celebration for the games. I did a video here. I filmed the whole concert. And the glorious sound of water. And as you know, this is not, um, should I say, all this rubbish that used to be here for one and a half years has gone. And it's looking very beautiful here. Isn't that wonderful? They were just cleaning the area today, the jet cleaners. So let us go a few minutes walk 
up here, Broad Street, and finish off at um, Brindley Place. I think it goes off at 11 o'clock there, so looks like uh, it's quite busy tonight, but it is Broad Street. Isn't that beautiful? B at one. Probably my favourite place in Birmingham, I'm two minutes walk from here, Brindley Place. They have a spectacular light system here, if you watch my Christmas carol, singing here two years ago, Christmas Eve, they tried to stop me filming. 
but um, I finished my carol. It's my only video Christmas carol two years ago. Um, but I have a spectacular light in here. It lights up the whole area. Blue and green and all different colours. But I've not seen it on since the Covid problem. As you can see here, I think it's on the video, Christmas Eve. So if you come into the playlist, if they go into the playlist, you will see what it looks like, and it is truly beautiful. We're going to finish the video here, guys. It was just to show you Birmingham at night, which is quite a treat for me as well, as you know from my comments. And we will go back and film the cruise in the jacuzzi at night when it's working. Um, when some idiot hasn't um, put something in in the fountain to stop it working. Look, they've got table tennis over there. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I will see you soon, and take care.